It is officially summer, so that means I've got to try to keep the house cool, but still feed my family. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some easy and delicious crock pot recipes. These recipes are gonna be perfect for summer to help keep your house cool, but still feed your family. Today's video is extra special because it is in collaboration with my girl Sammy over at Managing the Maze. Y'all know how much I love her, so make sure you go check out her channel and her video. I'll have both of them listed in the description box below. She's also going to be sharing some delicious crock pot recipes, so y'all are going to get a boatload of crock pot recipes if you watch both of our videos. Let's go ahead and get right on into it, and I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna start with my personal favorite first. These Mississippi chicken sliders were absolutely amazing. I will definitely be making them again. Now, we've had Mississippi chicken several times and we've had it over rice or we've had it with mashed potatoes, but I've never thought to do it on slider buns. And y'all, I think this was my favorite way to have Mississippi chicken. The recipe that I'm following, I will make sure to have a link down below for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken breast. now. I'm doing this in a hurry, so I'm adding in frozen chicken. I promise it will be okay. You're cooking it, so it's gonna cook through. Um, so I've got my frozen chicken breast I've just added in. I'm gonna add in a packet of dry ranch, and I'm also gonna add in a packet of au jus gravy. I'm gonna add that in, and then I'm gonna add in a little bit of juice. Now I'm using banana peppers, because that's what I had in the fridge. I'm gonna add some of the juice of that, and then I'm also gonna add in a decent amount of the banana peppers. Of course, if you add more or less, that's totally up to you. You don't need any extra liquid in this other than the juice that you're gonna add from the peppers. It's gonna give it such good flavor and as everything cooks down, it's gonna make its own juices and it's going to be delicious. I'm gonna add a couple tabs of butter on top and then I'm just gonna put the lid on this. You can cook this on high for about three to four hours or you can cook this on low for about six to eight. Here's what the chicken looks like when it's all done. Now I saved me some time and some extra dishes and I just shredded it in the crock pot. And then we just served it on my homemade slider buns. And then I got out what cheese options I had, sliced cheese. The Munster cheese was my favorite for this. And then I had some half bags of french fries. So I just cooked those up. I had some potato wedges and some tater tots. But this was absolutely delicious. If you have never tried Mississippi chicken in general, Definitely give it a try. We just tried it last year and it has been a favorite of mine, but doing it on these slider buns was my all time favorite way. These creamy mushroom gravy meatballs were so good. They were a family favorite. All of the boys really liked them. Now I made a nipsie and I accidentally deleted the footage of me putting the sauce together for you guys, but don't forget I will have this recipe linked down below so that way y'all can find that sauce recipe. I'm so sorry, but I went ahead and added some of that sauce down at the bottom and then I'm gonna add in my meatballs and then I'm just gonna cover it with the remaining sauce and then I'm gonna put the lid on this and we're gonna let this cook for about six hours. Then we will add in our mushrooms. I like adding those in towards the end because the mushrooms do not take long to cook at all. This was literally so simple and it had amazing flavor. Now that it's been six hours, I'm just going to give the meatballs a stir to make sure that they're cooking evenly. And then I'm going to add the mushrooms in. I try to get them in the liquid as best as I can, but as you see, I do have a full crock pot, but that's just going to kind of help with the cook of them. That way it helps them cook down a little bit faster, but I'm just going to put the lid on it and then we're just going to finish cooking this for another two hours. Now that it's about time to eat, we're gonna go ahead and add in the sour cream. That's the final ingredient. Now, it is best to add in room temperature dairy whenever you're adding stuff into the crock pot, especially towards the end because you could curdle it. Now, if you do not remember to sit it out, say 30 minutes before you're gonna add it, you can add it on top, put the lid on it, and let it sit for a few minutes. That way it comes up to temperature and then you can mix and add everything together. Here are the meatballs when they were all done. I served them over some crock pot mashed potatoes. I'll make sure to have that recipe linked down below. I've shared that so many times on my channel. They are my absolute favorite. Also added a couple cans of carrots last minute just to heat those through because I knew we weren't gonna be home. So that just 
literally this whole meal was a crock pot. The carrots, the mashed potatoes, and the meatballs. It helped me out so much. And it was absolutely delicious. Last but not least is chicken and veggies. This one is so simple. It is the perfect dump and go crock pot recipe. And I feel like it's very versatile because you could totally change out what veggies you want. Maybe veggies you've got coming in in your garden or whatever veggies you have on hand. I'm going to use some little potatoes that I have cut in half and then I'm also gonna add in some carrots. And then I'm going to add my chicken breast on top. Now you guys see me adding three breasts, but I realized after I got done filming this that we were having company coming over. So I added in two more chicken breasts to the top of this um, after I did that and I reseasoned and added some more um, sun-dried tomatoes. But y'all are gonna see me adding three breasts because I forgot we were having company this night. Um, so to that, after you add in your chicken breast, I'm just gonna add in some chicken broth all the way around. And then we're just gonna season the chicken breast on both sides. Don't forget, I will have this recipe linked down below for you guys. But like I said, this one is so simple, very versatile. I feel like you could do any seasoning. Um, I've done a version of this before with chicken thighs and I have used the farmer's market seasoning that is from McCormick, I believe. But doing, I feel like chicken and veggies is just, it's basic, but with really good seasoning, it can be a super simple and delicious supper. I season the chicken on both sides with salt and pepper, some parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, thyme. You can just add whatever you want to. And then I'm going to chop up some sun-dried tomatoes, add those on top, and then I also add in some minced garlic. And then I just put the lid on this and you're going to let this cook for about six hours. The vegetables honestly is what's going to take the longest for this because the chicken breast is not going to take as long. With those being root vegetables, it's going to take a little bit longer. Here's what it looks like when it's all done. Now I know you're thinking the same thing I did when I came home and opened my crock pot lid and seen that chicken. I was like, oh my gosh, that chicken's gonna be so dry. It's gonna be terrible. But it actually wasn't. It was juicy. I shredded it up and mixed it in with that liquid that was in there, the chicken broth and all those flavorful juices with the veggies. And it was actually super good. And we will definitely be making it again. These are some of the easiest crockpot recipes, perfect for the summer season to help you feed your family and not heat your house up too much. Don't forget that today's video was in collaboration with my girl Sammy over at Manage in the Maze. Make sure you go check out her video. She's going to be sharing some delicious crockpot recipes as well so y'all can get even more inspiration. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.